first cassette. This talk titled "The Existing of Faith" was given by Venerable Prajan Yantra Amaro Pikku on the 4th of June, 1992, at Dhamma Dura Center, Colombo, Sri Lanka. Theodore Prater and Siddha in Dhamma. <coughs> well, today we all have very good opportunities to meet each other together at Dhamma Dorat Buddhist Center. And it is first time for me to visit Sri Lanka. And it's very good opportunities for me to come here to visit Sri Lanka. Your country is a Buddhist land. Your country in the past, since a long, long time, in the early of Buddhism, when Buddhism started to establish in Sri Lanka, by Arhat Mahinda Thera and Sankamita Thera who is a both Arhan who came from India who are son of prince and princess of Ashoka, the great King Ashoka. Since that period until now, <coughs> Buddhism spreads around Sri Lanka by then. And there are no Arhanta who follow Mahinda Thera who is great arahants, who are great ones, who help people to know Buddhism, to know the right way of life. And then, Arhata Mahinda Thera, passed away or left from this world. Still there are many monks who are disciples of the Buddha, not directly from the Buddha, but from disciple of the Buddha, so many, many generations. And then, in nowadays, Buddhism still is good in Sri Lanka. I feel very in place and I feel very glad and happy when I came here because I saw and met many Buddhist people who have full faith in Buddhist teachings. And for today, you all 
listen from some younger ones who is uh, in charge of the chief monk here and Venerable Mahinda and Venerable Ramana. I think you all can get the bit, can get benefit or get profit some from their talking. Much or less is depend on yourself. And for me, I just like to say I feel in place and I feel very warm when I came to Sri Lanka. I feel like uh, I come back to my hometown. I feel very close. It's not so different from my hometown and particularly in my birthplace also. People are very nice. Particular people in the country or in the country and country size or in the religious people. They are so kind and so gentle and so sincerity. I feel like I come back to my hometown again, I feel like that. That's so different. I just let point you on the most important thing for our life, for human being life, in the basically how we can live together with harmony, how we can live together with peace, with good unity. And if we can find an antenna that phenomena a prayer clearly is mean that we have Dhamma. I always say that we just only think of every life as freedom we share suffering. If this feeling exists in our heart, in our mind, we cannot harm others anymore, even little bit bad actions, even a bit bad talking or bad speech, even a little bit a bad thought. This cannot happen in our mind, in our life. If we have that feeling in our mind, it means that we have loving kindness. A loving kindness will grow up in our mind more and more. It's for sure. If we have loving kindness and pure minds, in that moment we have good precept. We cannot harm others anymore. You can see, even you are sitting now, you have good precept already. When you have Homesomeness in your mind. You have loving kindness in your mind. You have calmness in your mind. Anything when you do, it will be all right. Anything when you talk, it will be all right. We don't have right speed, right actions. 
thriving horrendous spending more and more if you have pure loving kindness but this thing we must contemplate profoundly we must contemplate clearly in this thing the meaning of pure loving kindness we must have right understanding also this means we must have right view right understanding clearly in our mind this means that we must have wisdom to know the truth on those things how deep how many levels of deep things in the Dharma of deep of this feeling in deep science we will know by ourselves if we try to keep right away and try to develop our right away on the time and we can see if we try to observe and contemplate more and more we know what we should do we know what is the best thing in our life we should fight we should look for it more and more it's nothing better than Dhamma Dhamma is the best thing in our life but Dhamma is quite big meaning completely it includes everything in our life when we have right view, right understanding right wisdom, right thought right speed, right action and all right way it means we must have right effort noble path effort noble path You all know the meaning of right effort noble part. During you are sitting now, when your mind is good, is clear, it means that you have mindfulness and awareness very clearly, and clear comprehensions completely, clearly. in this moment, in this moment you have good place you have good concentration you have good wisdom or right place right concentration and right wisdom is included already in that moment Why the Buddha said that we just try to be aware every present moment and try to control our mind, we come and keep continue to do good, keep continue to follow the right way on the time. We must start by observe precept first. Just five pieces for one who are lay men or lay women who have family is the basics of Buddhist teaching, of Buddhist people, one who have family. If we have chant, or we have, what they say, I don't know, in this one, sorry, no? Well, it is not so correct and I still very poor in English what to say. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I always say that. If we 
observe Princess Bell. Try to keep Princess Bell by our intention. To avoid on evil. We have intention to avoid on evil. Try to follow the Buddha way. Try to follow the Dhamma way by practice. This thing is most important. And we master the these people are train people in the same, not different. Because it's on from Buddhist teaching, from the teaching of the Buddha. And our master said that we must try to keep peace and well. And it may go charm try to observe this more and more. It's depend on suitable. It's different people. Can you understand? You have family, you still have many kids, some family. When you like to practice absolutely you have to observe eight precepts. You like to ordain to become a monk, to become a nun. But you choose see and contemplate your situation. You must see and understand situation and you must see suitable. suitable. But you can do also, even you have family. For the Dhamma is not fit for anybody, for particular person. It's for anybody can do, but it's different. Who are monk, who stay single life, who have single life, have more time, much more time, <laughs> much more time to practice. It's for younger in case. We can see why some of you come to practice in this center. Many women, many ladies. Even that, you can live from your home. You can live from your house to stay at the center, at monastery, forest monastery, even in the cave, in the jungle, in this quiet place or silent place. When you try to have solid view, if you don't know how to control your mind, be calm. If you don't know how to train and develop your mind, and then you can free your mind from only silence, or from only violence, only desires, or only on attachments. But it's not so easy to do that. By word and by theory, we can talk a lot. We can talk whole day, whole night. My practice. It's not so easy. But you all still have chant. It's not too difficult. It is impossible also even you still have family. Some of you, some of people one who like to have renunciation more and more. They like to live from home to go to, they let like to live home to go to quiet place and meditate, let like to meditate. Seriously. And sincerity to practice. And try to practice absolutely. I admit. But 
ไปเลยถูกทอกจะสั่งดีมีปล่อยทีเบรสิ่ง for we have some thing to do and we have short time also in fact I'd like to talk with you longer than this but we have good time in all I just really need to remind you and suggest you a little bit don't forget our duty duty is a dhamma dhamma is a duty when you have not duty that person have not dhamma the wise man said that or the woman one said that helpfulness is the best quality duty of human being life and how we can practice when we have a lot of things to do when we still have duty Dhamma of the Buddha never separate our life with our duty never separate our life with our job with anybody with anything around us still concerned and synchronized with anything with mindfulness and wisdom we still help and we help If we can help, we should help more and more with love and kindness, with self-sacrifice, and try to understand all those things, whatever we have done, or what we will do, or what we are doing now. We must try to see, to understand, and then we make it clear Our mind is clear completely. And then we know on those things clearly. It means that anything, whatever we have done, We keep ready to do, try to do right on the ground. But we should not attach it. Even goodness, even wholesomeness, we should not attach it. Even you do so many things look like very good. You should not attach is your Thing. Mm. On those things, the Buddha said that is impermanent, is non-self, mm. or is unstable and non-self. On those things, it's just a little phenomena. Mm. It's just a little rise and gone, rise and gone. Or it's just a little nature on. We should not cling it to us. Even your loved one, or even who are your loved one, you try to help. You have a good wish to help them more and more. And we help if we can help. And try to think of other lives also. Is our prayer life or experience when we share suffering? We just try to have loving kindness more and more, and help with self-sacrifice. We should not help with attachment. Can you understand what I mean? Sorry, my English is not so good enough. But you can get the meaning what I say. And 
are trying to clear our mind. Do you think we are doing anything? Try to let it go. And know how to let go. And try to contemplate, implement, condition on those things, our life or anything in this world or in this universe. Nothing to attach. And try to contemplate impermanence more and more until we see truly, until we see the end condition on those things. And we should contemplate each thing clearly. Until we see truly, thoroughly, and clearly on those things is nothing. This one point, it is a one point of my instruction today to leave with you to contemplate. Try to see and try to contemplate until we see the end conditions on those things. If you use this body to contemplate or this feeling, our feeling, or any object, you can contemplate, you can use it for meditation, for meditation also, for contemplate. Don't try to be aware. And sometimes we just only try to keep calm. If sometimes we feel, oh my, it's shake, just keep calm first. By any way, any bit thought, if we know how to do. We call it that samatha kamathan or samadhi kam, it was samadhi, in Thai, sorry, samadhi kamathan or concentration. Meditation and inside meditation, samatha, samatha and vipassana. Sometimes just we keep calm. How to keep calm more is basic. Like a woman suggests you or any nun suggests you. It's not so difficult to do. If we have effort uh, uh, enough uh, and not keep the right way of If we have effort uh, uh, enough uh, uh, and not keep the right way also. Some master success is wrong way. Look like they got jhana devi. And sometimes they got nimit, nimit, uh, or some sign. They think they can see in the light in the path. It is possible also. We don't refuse. We don't refuse. We don't refuse. Sometimes we know something look like that is real. If we don't care for we don't have delusion in that thing. Somebody met the Buddha. In Mumit, or in their side. And when they come out from meditation, they think I went to the Buddha place and talked with the Buddha directly. I have ever seen so many people and one who practice with me. And they think I got this level, I got that level <laughs> already. I call them come person. Please look in your heart. Look at your mind. That thing is not Buddhist, it's not a uh, direct way of Buddhism. 
Even you can know re re reincarnation, even you know previous lives so many times, if you don't contemplate in your heart, in personal, if you don't know how to purify your mind, you must try to fix now your greed, greeting, hatred, delusion, jealousy, confusions, or anything, any kind of disturb, any kind of hindrance. You still disturb your mind or not. And you just test yourself with any phenomena, with different situations, with different events. And you should test yourself with any phenomena, with different situations, with different events. You should train and try, try to test it, like a, you must get examination. <laughs> like a student or school children must have examination. No. We can pass that thing completely, absolutely or not, about the taste of food, <laughs> about the taste of food, or any things in our six sense, huh? in our eternal, internal six sensations, when have contact. You must try to taste this. And you must try to test with different people. Hmm? Now it's reduced, or it's still a lot. Don't worry it too much, even it's still, don't worry. Just try to learn how to overcome. The Buddha said that we should not stay away from obstacle. We should not stay away from any problem. Even this war or any kind of suffering, we should not stay away. The Buddha never suggests you do that. The Buddha suggests you to confront any kind of obstacle, any kind of problem, any kind of suffering. Just try to see truly with silent mind. Try to be aware every present moment. The Buddha said that one who has trained and developed mindfulness and awareness well will be peaceful and happy. The same phenomenon said it must be so different because the Tamma. It's the same, but different, what do you say, maybe different uh, style, <laughs> different technique to say, but it's the same. The most important thing, don't forget, try to reduce our defilement, try to reduce our desire, we should try to check, to check it, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we just try to check it more and more. The high quality of human being is there. It means that if we can reduce defining desire, attachment, until we can free it more and more, we will know by ourselves. Sometimes, no need to contemplate, just try to keep calm, because sometimes all my shape go to samadhi first. Just sit and try to be away. We must have exchange, can you understand? From samadhi or concentration, when we have good concentration, well, and come out from
concentration to contemplate. When contemplate see each thing clearly, and then we see the process on, on those things or mechanism on those things clearly, and clear our mind. Nothing attached, nothing stick in, nothing stuck in. No brain is clear completely. Clear even we open our eye, not clear only we close our eye. Clear even we are working, we are doing things, we are no, uh, moving uh, any action, anywhere, any moment, any time. We still clear. It means still have mindfulness and awareness well completely. It means that we have the mark of the Buddha. I can say that the most important thing is our practice is mindfulness and awareness. Try to develop it more. Development of mindfulness. Mm, is important for our practice in Dhamma. And don't forget, first we choose observe precept, have intention or have, should make our de determination also to observe precept, any kind of precept, fire or air precept, we should see our chance, we should see our situation, our suitable. Uh, some of you can Observe a precept on weekend or on new moon, full moon, when you have chance. Even you cannot come to temple, you can do also. <laughs> you can observe by yourself. Any kind of goodness, any kind of virtues, hmm? any kind of dhamma, you can do by yourself, you can practice by yourself. But if you have good teacher, the right one, must be the right one. This thing is not so easy. Eh? If I need to suggest you who is the right one. If we say we are the right one, you are the right one, anyone are the right one, eh? <laughs> our says are the right one. But we can see, we can see by action. Eh? by routine, can you say, by speed, and if everything is all right, everything is all right, not wrong, not bad, never show bad action, never show bad word, never show, what do you say? <laughs> like a, if we still greed, eh? hatred, delusion, if we still have inside, it's not show out. Something not show out, anything not show out. Even the eye is the mirror of heart. If we have loving kindness, I show us. When we have heat inside in our mind, when we have hatred, we got hatred. Then when we try to keep calm, but I is not so clear. Because I is the mirror of heart. And it's not only that. You may get to learn to you can observe closely and have company in Shari. Take time to stay close and enjoy to work together. Some kind of defilement, some kind of big desire is not come out. If stay alone or stay with <laughs> the same group, <laughs> when change to different group, different uh, place, different situation, or different people, when we stay with bad people, or look not so gentle, maybe thing is still, nah? any kind of defilement still any kind of desire still 
If inside is not so clear like the dust in the bottom of the glass of water, still, <coughs> it didn't come out again when something comes to shake it. Can you say what I mean? If nobody touch it, hmm? because keep only same place. Why I always say that? We just try to learn how to taste ourselves. Now I always be student. In fact, I always be student to study <laughs> all the time. <laughs> Many people call me master, teacher, great master. I don't know. You just call by yourself. I always student. I always be student to learn so many things in our life. Even Arahant, we call that this this kind of learning. We call that is a Panthakarika Pariyati Pali. It means learn how to. Uh, learn how to spread the mark more, mm. learn so many things in this world to learn. Mm. But for inside, is, it become arahant, is finished. No need to learn more inside, but learn more something to help others more. It will be useful if we can learn more. We should not stop for learning. And we just try to pass on the time with mindfulness. Try to be aware, try to be careful <coughs> all the time. Careful in our mind, careful in our uh, internal six sensations then have contact with anything outside. Dhamma is exist here, here, we have connect. If without mindfulness and wisdom, any connect, any time we have connect between outside and inside, ignorance, defilements, desire and attachment, it can come up and go up more and more every moment. Why? We learn from this thing, learn here, not learn from, not learn only from all sides. Try to wash inside, try to wash ourselves first, train ourselves, until we train ourselves well, we can help others more. I can say that one who have strong energy inside completely and clear completely can help others more and more and clear also. And no more shames. If inside is clear completely, no more shames. We call in Bali is akupatammo, akupatammo. Akupatammo is mean it be Get through. Mm. It's not changing anymore. Mind is still calm, still void mm. from defining, from on attachment. <coughs> the Buddha said that if without attachment, no more suffering. Mm. But it's not so easy, na? By practice, we must take time to learn with patience, with effort. Because it's noble past, it not, it there are not other past. Just only eka makko, eka makko visutya in Bali. Eka makko visutya. This means just only one past is a pure past. It's the noble past. It means every noble past. Is a sa a ka makko visutya. No other thing to do. No other thing to follow. If you follow other way, it's wrong. And try to wash it here. No need to get any sign. 
somebody told Prajan, they asked me this. Master, I never uh, get aside, get, never get me meet. How come maybe my meditation is not the purpose? <laughs> I told, you are very lucky. You, you, you is correct. Any kind of meaning, you just take it to contemplate, it will happen. But any kind of limit is impermanent, is unstable and non-self. It's just really illusions when we compare, when we contemplate. On those things, it's just really tell us something, but we should not attach. If we have defilement on those things, maybe we will lose our way. Our defilement, our ego, uh, still a lot. Uh. Sorry, I found one master. They think he is a great king in the past. <laughs> I have been there, I haven't. I thought, please, please, uh. keep silent, don't talk too much. Otherwise, you will be lost away. If you talk much, you are defining your desire, you can go up more and more. Mm -hmm. You feel pride, pride, pride. You feel very really proud, and in that moment, if you have not found mindfulness enough, if you have not wisdom enough, your pride, P-R-I-D-E, pride, come up more and more. I never will get that experience also. But I am lucky, I found great master, the real one. And why I say that? I contemplate, oh, this way is very clear, Buddha does and many great masters of the disciple, they are disciples of Ajahn One, one who practice absolutely, have absolute practice, and they all have condemned life, nothing in their life. I look in their room, nothing. Even many people respect them, great master, but he's so kind, so gentle, so humble, very humble. Why I feel very in place. I see, I realize. And when we do that, our mind will be calm. Anytime when you have gentle mind, gentle speech, gentle actions, you have humble. When you always humble and try to have content life, try to have content means, live with content life, live with simple life, simple, <laughs> have simple life. <laughs> that person will stay close around, will stay close to the noble one, will stay close to the Buddha. Really, because inside is good. And we feel very light, light, L-I-G-H-T, light light and we feel good and try to keep continue. We can know now first level we we cry up at that state. Uh, we can know our development <laughs> inside. We can know and the most important thing, we should know what we are doing. We should not worry, we should not be worried. We are this. <laughs> we are this, we are this. <laughs> no need. <laughs> Just try to purify all my and try to reduce our defilement. And if some kind or any kind of defilement come out, 
try to be aware. Even we learn, for example, we learn how to overcome greed, or how to overcome uh, sex desires. We just try to take that feeling, uh, to contemplate, just acknowledge and wash, wash at that, wash at that. Just try to be aware every present moment. Any kind of defilement, any kind of desire, it's just right and gone also. It's just impermanent. It's impermanent and unstable and non-self also. It cannot stay last long. It cannot stay permanently because everything is anicham, anicham. Dan cutie. Then against even sex desire, just learn how to overcome, learn the process on those things, learn the process or learn the mechanism of that thing. It's by our instinct and by our uh, mental formation is formed, it goes more. And if we try to acknowledge and be aware, in that moment, try to be aware, control, don't, don't follow, don't follow it. Usually when we feel like that, we like to follow. When sex desire come up, we follow it. Most of the time we follow the five way, or we call that Mara, Mara. You know, Mara, you know? Mara come from beautiful body, come from pretty uh, body, come from good taste, Mara, Mara high in the high. Can you understand what I mean? Uh, if we don't contemplate, maybe we follow it very easily. Try. Why monk before all, all of monk one would like to practice? Slowly they try to contemplate before they eat. Uh, even they eat already, they try to shake, try to purify again. Uh, like a return or turn anything whatever we have done. What happened during that time, during we are eating? If still calm, it's still clear, oh, we can pass it. We don't clean it. Any defilement cannot cover, cannot block all my. It means we have good practice in that moment. Unit by unit, little by little, step by step. You will grow up in your meditation more and more, more and more. It's not so easy, not so, not so difficult to check it. But it's not so easy to learn to control your mind. You must take time with patience to learn. Can you say what I mean? You must be patient and must push out or increase your effort, increase your patience to learn how to overcome on those things more and more. Even if you feel pain during your sitting, you should not against it. Just know it and try to be aware. We should not, again, we try to absorb, we try to accept, mm, it's normal, it is sunlight, it is nature, it is the condition of nature, it is nature condition. It is the law of nature, and it is the truth of nature, and absolute truth, absolute law of nature, is never accept anybody. That feeling can happen any time. Can you understand what I mean? If we are against, our oh mind will be suffered. We should not again is inside or outside. If something comes, we should not again is just try to be aware and observe and wash, wash, wash. I always said washing, 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 looking, looking at there with mindfulness and awareness. Every present moment, just a little bit. My way is not uh, so, so deep, too deep, <laughs> but it's not so easy also. Usually we lost my goodness very easily. 
It's true or not? Try, try again. Why? I always say that. Don't forget to practice. Huh? And always we can practice meditation with development of mindfulness. Any kind of mindfulness, maybe you can use with, with a arising, falling, rising, at, at, at a domain, a domain. Or we, we can use a breathing or development of mindfulness. Recorded by Sunyata Studio. If you interested in this cassette, please contact Dharma Information Fund, Bangkok, Thailand. Telephone 